Governor Jerry Brown is touring the state to announce his budget plan for next year, and today he stopped in downtown L.A. KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen has details of the governor's financial plans. Marilyn Moreno was among the protesters in downtown Los Angeles today criticizing Governor Jerry Brown's revised budget plan for the upcoming fiscal year. Her full-time job is caring for her disabled daughter, but the governor's new plan would put a 40-hour-a-week cap, causing her to lose more than $400 a month. Without this program, I, I wouldn't be able to live. I'm very sympathetic. But I want to be responsible. The governor's $156 billion plan adds more than $2 billion in cost to the plan he submitted in January. Its first focus, health care, where nearly $2.5 billion have been added to pay for a $3.6 million bump in Medi-Cal enrollment over the next year. We're adding over a billion dollars that we didn't see in January. The new revision calls for the state, school district, and teachers to increase contributions so that the teacher pension plan is secure within 30 years. That was a commitment that they made years ago, but they didn't pay for it. So I want to pay for the pay down that pension. The governor says in the last 15 years, California has seen a surplus three times. He says this chart shows the state has quickly slipped into the red in the past because of overspending. So he's setting up a rainy day fund. And this year, uh, we're taking $3 billion off the table, putting it into debt repayment and putting it into the reserve. On top of that, K-12 through education will get nearly $45 billion, which is an increase from January's plan. And $142 million will go towards addressing the state's drought. Brown's plan now goes to the state legislature, where lawmakers have until June 15th to make changes or pass a balanced budget. In downtown Los Angeles, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.